वेलकम टू अभिव्यक्ति इंडिया फ्यूचर क्लासरूम इन टूडेज एपिसोड ऑफ क्वान्टिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड वी विल सी सम टिप्स ट्रिक्स एंड शॉर्टकट्स टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम ऑन टाइम स्पीड एंड डिस्टेंस वेलकम टू एक्सेल इन पी ओ एग्जाम राइट फ्रॉम द लोअर क्लासेस वी आर स्टडिंग द फॉर्म्यूला दैट डिस्टेंस इज इक्वल टू स्पीड इन टू टाइम it means that distance is directly proportional to speed distance is directly proportional to speed provided time is constant and distance is also directly proportional to time distance is directly proportional to time provided speed is constant it means what if the distance increases speed also increases or distance decreases speed also decreases so this is called as the direct proportion when one increases other also increases or when one decreases other also decreases so distance is directly proportional to speed and distance is directly proportional to time provided it is t is constant in the first case and s is constant in the second case now if we compare the two moving bodies if the two moving bodies has s1 as the speed and s2 as the speed respectively and they cover a distance of d1 and d2 respectively and the time taken by both of them is same that is t1 then remember that the ratio of their distances that is d1 upon d2 is equal to s1 upon s2 here the condition is that the time taken to cover the distance is same so the ratio of the distances to the ratio of the speeds will be always equal if time is constant the same way the ratio of d1 to the ratio of d2 that is d1 upon d2 that will be also equal to t1 upon t2 of course provided speed is constant if the speed is constant the ratio of the distances covered by the two objects will be equal to the ratio of the time they have taken to cover that distance but what is the relation between the speed and the time if the distance is constant if the distance is constant then the ratio then the speed and time are inversely proportional that speed is inversely proportional to time it means what if the speed increases the time decreases and if the speed decreases time that will increase in this case the ratios that is d that is s1 upon s2 that will be equal to t2 upon t1 since distance covered by them is same that is constant it is s1 upon s2 is equal to t2 upon t1 so remember these three ratios first one second one and third one these two are directly proportional and this one is inversely proportional and now in other videos we will see the sums on these different ratios here is the first question on the screen that a car starts from delhi to meerut with a speed of 40 km from delhi to meerut suppose this is delhi and this point is meerut and a car starts from delhi to meerut with a speed of 40 km per hour and another car at the same time starts from meerut to delhi with a speed of 60 km per hour 60 km per hour at what distance from delhi the two cars will meet if the distance between delhi and meerut is 200 km 
if the distance between delhi and meerut it is given that the distance between these two stations is 200 km suppose these two cars meets at a point p and it is given that uh, the distance between these two stations is 200 km so if you take this distance as x from d to p and from p to m this distance will be what it will be 200 minus x because total distance is x out of that d to p is x so the remaining will be 200 and minus x now friends here if you observe this you will see that there are five unknown quantities s1 s2 d1 d2 and the total distance correct out of this five quantities you will be supplied with any four quantities and you will be asked to find the fifth one sometimes s1 s2 d1 d2 will be given and the total distance will be asked sometimes total distance will be given d1 d2 will be given one speed will be given and you will be asked to find the another speed now here you see that since the time taken by both the cars to reach the point p is same therefore the ratios of d1 upon d2 that will be equal to s1 upon s2 so replace the values now it is very easy here d1 and d2 x upon 200 minus x that will be equal to x upon 200 minus x that will be equal to 40 by 60 here you need not to do all these things during your examination you should learn how to write this step directly that's much of practice you need so 0 and 0 will get cancel 2 to the 4 and 2 3 to the 6 now cross multiply 3 into x that will be equal to 3x then multiply by 2 to this quantity that is 2 into 200 will be 400 minus 2 into x that will be 2x now if you shift 2x to the other side this is minus 2x it will be plus 2x so 3x plus 2x that will be equal to 5x which is equal to 400 So it will be five ones are five, five eights are forty, zero, and so x will be equal to eighty. So this distance x is a distance from Delhi to point P, and this distance we have got as eighty kilometer, and therefore the required distance is eighty kilometer. If you are being asked to find the distance from Meerut, then you will simply do two hundred minus eighty, and you will get the answer. Here is the another question that two trains starts at the same time from Patna to Jaipur. and proceed towards each other patna to jaipur this all things you have to do mentally patna to jaipur one with speed of 60 km per hour and another with 45 km per hour so directly write just only 60 and 45 when they meet when they meet it is found that one train has traveled 200 km more than the other suppose their meeting point is p here of course one with more speed will cover more distance and with less speed will cover less distance so if this is x this will be x plus 200 because it travels 200 km more than that of the other car or other train and you have to find the distance between jaipur and patna this total distance you have to find again 
here you are having five quantities one two three and four and this fifth one is the total distance so it will be what time taken is constant to reach the point p it is same and therefore the ratios of the distance is that is six uh, x by 200 by x x plus 200 upon x that will be equal to 60 by 45 so here it will be 15 4 the 60 and 15 3 the 45 so this ratio will be 4 is to 3 now cross multiply and find the value of x so if you multiply by 3 to this quantity you will get it 3x plus 600 is equal to 4 into x that will be 4x now take 3x to the other side it will become minus 3x so 4x minus 3x will be x and therefore x is equal to 600 so you have got x at 600 so this distance is 600 kilometer then what will be this distance of course 600 plus 200 that is equal to what it will be 800 and what will be then total distance 800 plus 600 that is 1400 so total distance will be 1400 to solve this you have to just write like this 60 one speed another speed is 45 one is taking x speed so another is taking 200 more so x plus 200 now take the ratio this upon this is equal to this upon this and solve now see the another question a car travels from delhi to jaipur at a speed of 50 kilometer per hour and another car travels from delhi to ludhiana with a speed of 60 km per hour if the time taken by both the cars is same and the distance of Jaipur from Delhi to is 270 km then find the distance of Ludhiana from Delhi now one car starts from Delhi and reaches to Jaipur with a speed of 50 km per hour and takes time t1 time we do not know another car that also starts from delhi and reaches ludhiana in time t1 because time taken is same with a speed of 60 km per hour it means what time is constant and therefore the ratio of the distances covered by them is equal to the ratio of the speeds and the distance of Jaipur from Delhi Jaipur from Delhi is given as 270 km this distance is given so what you will get now that let this distance be x so 270 by x which is equal to 50 by 60 so 0 will get cancelled it will be 5 by 6 cross multiply so it will be 5 by 5 x is equal to multiply this 6 0 the 0 7 6 the 42 write 2 carry on 4 and 6 to, 6 to the 12 12 and 4 it will be 16 so x will be equal to divide by 5 it will be 5 1 the 5 5 3 the 15 5 2 the 10 and 5 4 the 20 so it will be 324 so x you have got as 324 kilometer so the distance between Delhi and Ludhiana is 324 km. 
friends here is the question that you have to try yourself pause the video note down the question try it yourself and give the answer with the way you have solved it in the comments two trains starting at a say at the same time from two stations 200 km apart and going opposite direction cross each other at a distance of 110 km from one of them what is the ratio of their speeds try it and give the answer along with the method you have used here we suggest you few videos just click on the link that current affairs mcq1 it is the latest video then test of reasoning analogy part 1 then banking awareness monetary policy direction sense from test of reasoning tips and tricks on circular seating arrangement from test of reasoning friends i hope you might have enjoyed this video if you have then like it just by clicking on a thumbs up button share it with your friends and the most important is that subscribe to a channel so that you will get updates right to your mailbox thank you very much friends you might have enjoyed this video then go to thumbs up button and click then go to share tab and share with your friends on facebook twitter google plus and many more and to get the updates right in your mailbox don't forget to subscribe thank you very much